Hello, in today's video, I'm going to explain how to collapse and expand measure based on user preference using a slicer. This trick will be very useful when we have several measure and want to provide the user the flexibility to select those measure of their choice. It should not take more than 15 minutes to build this feature. I will be using selected value function, switch function, data table function, and format function in this example. Let's quickly go to PBI and I'll show you how to create this particular feature. So this is the PBI file which I created for this demo. If you notice here, I have a matrix and I have the business segment in the rows and some measures in the columns. And I have the flexibility to allow the user to select the measures of their choice. Let's say I want to remove the measure three. If you notice here, the, now the user can only see measure one and measure two. Similarly, if they don't want to see the measure one, they can select only the measure two and three, right? And also if you notice here, the format is different. So the measure one is in percentage and the measure three is numerical or integer. So I'll explain you how to do this, okay? And the table which I have the raw data is the fact table. And let me show you the data, how it looks like. So if I click on this data here, so I have the date, the business segment, and these are my columns. So numerator one, denominator one, numerator two, denominator two, three, four respectively. So with this data, I created this particular report, okay? So I'll show you step by step. So before I redo it, let me remove all these features. So let me delete all the calculated items and then do it from scratch. So now I deleted all the calculated items. So now I have a matrix here, which has a business segment onto the rows and a slicer, which doesn't have anything, okay? And if you notice here, this is the only calculation I kept it as it is. So measure one, it's fairly simple, right? So it, it's uh, sum of fact numerator divided by fact denominator. This is my measure one. And similarly, I have measure two, which is sum of fact numerator divided by fact denominator. So I have the columns here. And similarly, the measure three, which is just the sum of fact numerator, okay? So now to create this functionality, so what I'm gonna do is, go to the data tab here and I don't have any other table except the fact table. So you can see it doesn't have anything special. So now I'm gonna create a new table, okay? Click on new table and I'll call this as uh, select uh, the table name as dim measure, okay? I'll call this as dim measure and then create I'll use a data table function and then create a new table. So let me call this uh, table has measure name. Sorry, uh, the uh, column name has measure name within quotes. Okay. And type, I need the string. I'm going to use string. Okay. And then open the parenthesis and then I'll call this as measure one, right? So let me call my first measure. Let's measure one. Okay, close the parenthesis, comma, alt enter. This is my second measure. Let's measure two. And let's say I have the last one. Measure three. Close the parenthesis. Hit enter. So this will give me a new table. So you can see I have the measure name, which has measure one, one, two, and three, okay? So I'll be using this uh, column as a reference, and then based on this column, I'll build the functionality. 
So now let me go back to my report here. Okay. And I'm going to create a new uh, measure and call this as selected measure. Right click and add a new measure. Let me call this as selected measure equal to, I'm going to use a switch function, switch equal to true. Okay, I'm going to use a selected value function here. Selected value from dim measure table and the column name is measure name equal to, uh, let's say measure one, that's my first measure, right? So I'll use measure one within quotes, measure one. And then I want my measure one. Okay. And for the second measure, selected value, the measure name equal to, let me copy this and change this to measure two. Then I want measure two. I can copy this right for the sake of time. Selected value, the measure name is equal to measure three. Then I want measure three. Else, anything else, then blank. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now what I'm gonna do here is bring this new calculated field, right? The one which I created just now, that is selected measure. Bring this to the values here. Okay, you're not getting anything. So now what I'll do is we created a dummy table right here. If I scroll down, scroll up here, we created a dim measure table and we have a column called measure name. I'll bring this to the columns here, okay? So now you see we have the measures uh, in the order, measure one, measure two, and measure three. And what I'm gonna do here is into this slicer, I'm gonna bring this measure into this slicer, measure name. So now if I select measure one, I'm able to see only measure one. If I select measure two, I'm getting measure two. And measure three, I'm getting everything. And let's look at the format. So if you notice here, the format is completely different, right? I need this in percentage. And uh, measure three is, if you look measure three, it's a uh, sum of fact numerator. So I want this is in an uh, integer or roll number. So to do that format, I'll go back to my uh, selected measures. And here I'm gonna use format. Format. The first measure I want this to be and percentage up to two decimal places. Similarly, the second one, I need to close this parenthesis here. Similarly, for the second also, I need this in a percentage format. And the last one, I want, let's say, up to two decimal points, point zero. Okay, hit enter. And now if you notice here, the first two measures are in percentage and the last one is numerical or the whole number, I would say. So this is how you can use this trick to uh, user the flexibility to select the measure of their choice. This is very useful when you have several measure less like 20, 30 measures, and it's very difficult uh, to put all this into one metrics and the user has to scroll to the left, right, and uh, it's 
it, it, it doesn't look very nice. So by using this trick, you can allow the user to read only the measure of their choice or what they're interested in, okay? I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any question, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm gonna revert back to you, okay? And one more thing, if someone has a question on the data model, so there is uh, no uh, link between the measure and fact, this is a separate table. And this is also a separate table, okay? And uh, please don't forget to uh, share with your friends or colleagues. Uh, it might be helpful for them as well. Okay, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.